coming up, the top five most brilliant birds. And keep watching till the end of the show to find out how to get a free Zubatat coloring book. of space to roam do, 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 do. Zubatat an island with every habitat Zubatat do, 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 do. Zubatat Zubatat Top 5 Most Brilliant Birds! Hi there, Zuby Ranger recruits! My name's Jolly Jungle, and with me as always is my twin brother, Jordy Jungle. Hi everyone! Today's episode is a Zubatat Awesome Animals Top 5 Edition. Top 5 Edition? But I thought today was a Top Dive Edition. I plan on wearing my swimming trunks and diving into five different swimming pools. Um, that's a fun idea, but let's save that for another time. Let's get right to our top five. Today, we'll list the top five most brilliant birds here on Zubatat. Brilliant? When it comes to birds, that describes me. I'm already a bird expert. What with their wings and beaks and tweeting ways. Is there anything more to know than that? Oh, just a few more things. So fluff up those feathers and get ready to soar into the top five most brilliant birds. At number five, looking pretty in pink, the flamingo. Oh yes, the flamingo. What a stunning member of the avian kingdom. With their long necks and tall skinny legs, they're a statuesque creature to behold. These two seem to be having a great time wading through the shallow waters. You often see flamingos standing on one leg. Do you know why? I do not, but I'll stand here on one leg until you give me an answer. While the exact reason isn't fully understood, it's believed this behavior helps conserve body heat as they spend a lot of time in cold water. Plus, it looks quite elegant, don't you think? It sure does! And oh, look at this handsome flamingo! Its face is such a vibrant color! Why is it so bright? It looks almost like it's blushing! You're right! Flamingos are famous for their striking pinky-orange color. But did you know they're not born that way? They're actually gray when they hatch. Their feathers get the pink color from what they eat, which is rich in beta-carotene, a natural pigment found in foods like shrimp and algae. Not bad. Remind me to find a matching pink sweater next time I eat anything rich in beta-carotene. For their vibrant and long-legged ways, it's no surprise the flamingo has found its way onto Zubatat's top five most brilliant birds. Wow, that was great! Do you mean that I paid attention for the entire time? Um, sure. And you can keep up the good work because here it is, number four. <laughs> Fluttering in at number four, the rapid but also oh humble hummingbird. Let me guess, hummingbirds are called that because they love to hum their favorite tunes while flying. Um, close, Jordy, but no. Hummingbirds have their unique name because they're known to hover in one spot while feeding. This hovering creates a slight humming sound. Oh, okay. That's a good reason, too. But I bet some of them like to hum songs while they're in the shower. Maybe. This shot here is in slow motion. But even so, our hummingbird friend is flapping its wings super quickly. Moving their wings in a figure eight pattern, they flap at an astonishing speed up to 80 times per second. This makes them the only bird that can fly backwards and even upside down. Incredible! Look at how this one is feeding from these flowers. Hummingbirds have long, slender beaks and even longer tongues that are specially adapted to reach deep into flowers to access their nectar. The sugar in the nectar provides high energy, which helps power their rapid wings. Sounds like I'm not the only one who enjoys sugar in his diet. For the hummingbird's small but powerful ways, it's earned its spot on Zubatat's top five most brilliant birds. Well, that was number four, which left me hungry for more. Ooh, that rhymes. Let me try one. 
Next up is number three, which I can't wait to see. Nice one. So poetic. Coming up next, number three in our top five. Swooping in at number three, the bold and beautiful bald eagle. Oh, wow. Just look at this majestic creature. The bald eagle soars through the sky like no other. It really is a stunning sight to see. Did you know that the bald eagle's wingspan can range from six to eight feet? That's over two feet more than the average human adult height. Well, put a feather in their cap. With such long wings, it makes sense that they're considered one of Zubatat's largest birds of prey. And do you know why they're called bald eagles? It's because of the white plumage of feathers on their head. From a distance, it almost looks like they have no hair. Well, either way, I think they're just fantastic. Look at the piercing eyes and pronounced beak on this feathered friend. For their impressive size, strength, and beauty, the bald eagle has earned its spot as one of Zubatat's top five most brilliant birds. Okay, that was our number three. Now it's time to move on to number two. Easier said than done. I just can't stop thinking about number three. Oh, number three. Well, snap out of it. Number two, here we come. Squawking in at number two, the bird of many colors and many voices, the macaw parrot. Macaw parrots are vibrantly colored birds that live in Zubatat's tropical rainforest habitat. That's right, Jordy. You're becoming more brilliant with each bird we meet. The macaw's bright feathers help them blend into the rainforest canopy, where fruits and flowers are abundant. This way, they stay safe from potential predators. And it's a good thing for them to feel safe because they have a lot of chatting to do up in those treetops. <laughs> That's true. Macaws do like to talk. In fact, they're highly skilled at mimicking the voices they hear. They're highly skilled at mimicking the voices they hear. Who said that? Was that jolly? Well played, Jordy. You're pretty good at mimicking, too. I'm sure it's music to your ears. Although, this macaw might beg to differ. Looks like it's doing all it can to block its ears. The people have spoken, Jordy. Or should I say the parrots have spoken? For their vibrant colors and amazing ways of communication, the macaw parrot is a welcome addition to Zubatat's top five most brilliant birds. And here we are, right at the last number. That means we're close to the end. No, don't say it. I want to keep doing this forever. Don't worry, Jordy. There's lots more to check out. But for today, let's take a look at number one in our top five. Taking the top spot in our list today is a bird whose wise ways make it a hoot to see. Leading the flock at number one, the great horned owl. The great horned owl is a regal creature with a mysterious gaze. Look at its large round eyes and its charming feather tufts at the top of its head. They really are impressive looking birds. And like most of its kind, this bird is a bit of a night owl, meaning it's nocturnal, often awake at night and asleep during the day. That's true. In fact, its large yellow eyes have a unique ability to see in the dark. Also, when they fly, their feathered wings make their movements almost silent. This allows them to hunt at night without being spotted by others. And look at how this one camouflages itself against the bark of its tree. If you're not looking carefully, it's almost like our owl friend isn't there. Great horned owls are masters of disguise. Their mottled brown and gray plumage blend seamlessly into their surroundings. They can also sit perfectly still on a branch, becoming almost invisible to prey and predators alike. How about you, Zuby Ranger recruits at home? Can you sit perfectly still? Let's see you try sit as still as our owl friend. Nicely done! For their wise looks, camouflaging skills, and the fact that they're a hoot to be around, it's no surprise that the Great Horned Owl has landed at number one on Zubatat's list of the top five most brilliant birds. Well, there you have it. Another top five right here on Zubatat. Awesome animals.
We hope you've enjoyed this countdown as much as we have. Now let's take a quick look back at all we've checked out today. At number five, the flamingo. At number four, the hummingbird. At number three, the bald eagle. At number two, the macaw parrot. And finally, at number one, the hoot-tastic great horned owl. That's all for today, Zuby Ranger recruits. Keep your eyes open and your Zuby binoculars close. Until next time, Zuby, Zuby Rangers, Rangers at the ready! Want to learn more about the animals on Zubatat? Join us at www.zubatat.com for more fun, including the latest episodes, free coloring and activity books, and to earn your very own Junior Zuby Ranger badges. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and tell all your friends.